Numbers that are very small or very large can be hard to work with and compare to each other. For example, the Earth's diameter rounded up to the nearest 1,000 is 13,000 kilometers. The diameter of a marble is 0.000013 kilometers, or we could just say 13 millimeters. You can see that it's too long to write out and say the value of the marble's diameter in kilometers, but then it's also difficult to compare millimeters to kilometers. How can we write these numbers in a way where we can more easily compare the diameter of the marble to the diameter of the earth? Standard form is a way of expressing numbers that are too large or too small to be conveniently written in decimal form. So then the value of the Earth's diameter would be 1.3 times 10 to the power of 4 kilometers, and the marble's diameter would be 1.3 times 10 to the power of minus 5 kilometers. Now both of these numbers are in the same format, so we can more easily add, subtract, or divide them. So how do we write numbers in standard form? Standard form is written in terms of powers of 10, which shows how many times the digits are multiplied by 10. The decimal point goes after the first digit of the significant figure. So in this example, 13,000 is equal to 1.3 times 10 to the power of 4. In the full number, the 1 and the 3 are the significant figures. Significant figures are numbers that tell us the most about the value of the overall number. So a decimal point goes after the first digit of our significant figure, making it 1.3. In standard form, this value here will always be equal to or greater than 1 and less than 10. This small number 4 that sits above the 10 is the power of 10. It tells us how many times this number is multiplied by 10 to get to this number. So in this example, 1.3 is multiplied by 10 4 times to get 13,000. For the exam, you need to be able to do calculations with numbers in standard form, as well as express answers in standard form. The question will indicate to you when this is expected. So how can we compare numbers in standard form? We can use standard form to compare very large numbers. This table gives examples of large numbers in standard form. If the power of 10 is positive, the number is large. Positive powers shift the digit to the left. So what do we mean by shifting the digit to the left? Let's fill in the table and see. So 1 times 10 to the power of 0 is just equal to 1. 1 times 10 to the power of 1 is equal to 10. You can see that as the power has moved from 0 to 1, the digit 1 has moved one space to the left. 1 times 10 to the power of 2 is equal to 100. And 1 times 10 to the power of 3 is equal to 1000. As we increase the power of 10 by 1 each time, the value gets 10 times larger. What does it look like when we put small numbers in standard form? We can also use standard form to refer to very small numbers. This table shows examples of very small numbers in standard form. Remember, if the power of 10 is negative, the number is small. Negative powers shift the digit to the right. So let's have a look at what we mean by shifting the digit to the right. We know that 1 times 10 to the power of 0 is 1, and 1 times 10 to the power of minus 1 is 0.1. We've shifted our 1 over to the right. 1 times 10 to the power of minus 2 is equal to 0.01, and 1 times 10 to the power of minus 3 is equal to 0.001. As the power of 10 decreases by 1 each time, the value gets 10 times smaller. In other words, we divide the value by 10. So, how do we write numbers in standard form? Write the measurement 0.000017 micrometers in standard form. So, step 1 work out the number of significant figures and place the decimal point after the first digit. Let's write out our value here. The significant figures in this number are the 1 and 7. When we place a decimal point after the first digit, we get 1.7. Remember, this is 1.7 and not 17 because this value always needs to be equal to or greater than 1 and less than 10. 
Step two, calculate how many factors of 10 it takes to move the decimal point to the right place. We can do this simply by counting out how many places the decimal point has to jump to make 1.7. In this case, it's six spaces. So this number in standard form will be 1.7 times 10 to the minus six micrometers. Remember that the power of 10 is a minus because it's a small number. You have to divide 1.7 by 10 six times to get to this value. One last thing that you should check before writing your answer is that you've given correct units. You can use your calculator to convert any number into standard form with a desired number of significant figures. You can do this using a scientific calculator. This will be useful because exam questions will often ask you to put your answers in standard form. So what are the steps to do this? First, turn the calculator on. Then press shift. After that, press setup. Then press seven to select Psi. Your screen will look like this. Then select the desired number of significant figures by inputting a number between zero and nine. Two or three significant figures would be standard. Finally, enter a number and press equals to display it in standard form. So how do we reset the calculator so that it stops displaying everything in standard form? To reset the calculator, you access the same setup menu. So first press shift, then press setup. This time you're going to press eight to select norm. When your screen looks like this, select two to reset to normal. The calculator will no longer put every number in standard form. Thanks for watching. If you want to take your GCSE revision to the next level, head over to launchpadlearning.com and check out our smart learning platform that's been designed to get you top results in your exams. We cover your whole specification and make revision fun with interactive quizzes, easy to follow videos and more. You'll be kept motivated by your own AI tutor who's here to support you every step of the way. To check it out for yourself, click here or click here to keep watching a selection of the videos from our full GCSE Biology course. See you there!